guys we're in the rsx today and i had issues with the stereo i'm not sure if i shared that with you guys or not because i was fixing the front fender on the car and i had the battery unplugged and it's a factory radio so it has the code on it for the anti-theft and as like right now i can't use the radio or anything because it's asked me for the code now usually the codes are inside here inside the glove box somewhere there's an id card but this car doesn't have it, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually re, um, actually get the serial number for the stereo because you need that and you need the VIN number in order to actually get the code. Uh, whether you call or um, go on the website, I'll leave the link in the description below for that. But yeah, guys, so you hold number one and six, you hold that down, and then you tap this. Oh, hold on a second. Make sure it's on the on the clock, not on code, because otherwise that right there will happen. So you hold that down, and you tap that, and you'll see that number, uh, 1550. Yours will be different. Um, and then you can see that, 1199. So you're going to want to write those two numbers down. You can cut off those after it goes to the L. You, you want to write those two numbers down. And on the website that uh, is below... It'll ask you for the VIN and the uh, serial number. So you just write that down and that's your serial number, the eight digits. And once you put that in there on the website, then it'll, it'll give you the code. But um, so how I first did that, uh, I didn't have it on the clock when I pressed number one and six. So now I just got to enter something so it resets it. And you can only uh, enter it 10 times. So um so just make sure that you enter and you get the code first. Okay, so now I'm going to tap this. And I'm going to tap it again. And mine is, uh, I think it's 35624. 35624. And then it'll beep. And then you got your radio. Everything will work. Everything will be back to normal. You can put it on whatever channel. So just so you can see. So like I said, that's how you guys do that. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for the website that I use anyways. And like I said, that's all that's all it really asks you. I, th I think it asks you for your email, um, your phone number, whatever. I just put a fake phone number in there just because I don't really want anyone knowing my number. But yeah, that doesn't really matter as far as that. That's how you guys do it. So uh, instead of bringing it to the Acura dealership or Honda, I'm not sure if the Hondas have it. I'm pretty sure they do. So instead of bringing it to the dealership and giving them $40 to do it, you can literally do it in just a few minutes. So hope you guys liked the video. I'll be uploading another one. I'm going to be doing the brake line finally on the Civic. And I'm going to be wiring up the reverse lights. So that'll be on the next video. I'm going to upload two of them probably today. So uh, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. And hit the bell so you, can, you get notifications every time I upload a video. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.